Malcolm Turnbull uploads his first Easter message as Prime Minister. Stay safe and enjoy the long weekend. As his predecessor uploads a message from London, tweeting it was good to catch up with British Prime Minister David Cameron. It raised the question um, whether he's, in a sense, playing Kevin Rudd to your Julia Gillard. Well, I think Australians are not very interested other than yourself, of course, in the ghosts of government past. Malcolm Turnbull's now been forced to show interest in the ghosts of elections past. The Electoral Commission claims the New South Wales Liberal Party deliberately concealed the identities of major donors ahead of the 2011 state election, when Cabinet Secretary Arthur Sinodinus was its treasurer. If Malcolm Turnbull is serious about the Ministerial Code of Conduct, he should stand aside Arthur Sinodinus. If the law has not been complied with, they should fess up, uh, set all the facts out on the table and let the, let the cards fall where they may. Far from fessing up, Senator Sinodinus has denied he's implicated in the scandal, but his Senate colleagues have been quick to jump on the story, saying it's proof a national ICAC is needed. Senator Glenn Lazarus says he'll support the reinstatement of the Australian Building and Construction Commission if the legislation's amended to cover all industries. With the flick of a pen, we could be not just investigating the building and construction sector when it comes to corruption. A step that could provide the numbers One, two, three, to avoid an early election. Amelia Brace, 7 News.